Hey babes, I know, I know, I know. I have been gone for almost just about two months. Whew, y'all. I haven't been going through anything like bad or nothing. It's just life. But I got my couch and I got my TV. I mounted. Um, and you guys see that I have braids. Like, you guys really haven't seen me in a long time because now I have braids in my head. Like, ooh, I don't know why I feel so weird. I don't know. But we got a lot to catch up on, you guys. But right now, because we're going to talk about it. And at first, I was going to make a video where I was, like, going to talk about, um, you know, where I've been and stuff like that. But honestly, I just want to do what I want to do. And... I want to vlog and then we'll have a talk later um so yeah so right now um i'm about to head out and we're gonna go to this dominican restaurant and i'm so excited i'm just so happy that i have my hair done which i'm gonna be talking about that i'm so excited to talk about that because i'm just so happy that my hair is done and she snapped on my hair i have the um I have these bohemian knotless braids lighting is good right here but it's horrible like towards my mirror so i can't really show you guys right now my um uh, my braids the way i want to show you guys but they look so good they're all the way to my thighs so they're really really long but yeah i got so much other decorating to do of course <sighs> with my um pardon me but we finally got our couch and our tv mounted and everything so yeah let's go ahead and just um head out and um i'll put the camera back on when we get in the car or when we get to the place so yeah okay you guys we are in the car now yeah you guys i just feel like i just be feeling so natural like real life just so natural and I just love that for me I just I just feel like a different type of woman and I'm just thankful you know to be a black woman I'm just so thankful yeah okay so oh okay I wanted to put all my hair in the front because I thought it looked kind of I don't know weird not having all my hair in the front since i'm wearing like a middle part when she first did it i had swooped it over when she did my hair i swooped um the hair over but right now it's giving middle part so yeah yep it's giving braids i don't know when i'm not gonna wear braids anymore braids are gonna be the look for a little while now just because i live in dallas and um yeah i know it's gonna get really really hot and it was actually really really hot yesterday um it's a little the sun isn't out um like it was yesterday so it's it's still hot but it's not like super hot um but yeah and i just feel like i want to let my hair breathe i mean i want i just feel like i want to let my hair just grow or whatever i got products so that i can keep my hair moisturized and good you know what i'm saying so yeah we're doing braids for a while now but yeah let's go ahead and head to the damn, I, I think i forgot my lip liner and everything freak i mean i'm not walking back up the stairs and that's the thing about me living on the third floor once i'm down these steps unless i like unless i'm going to the gym and um i forgot my headphones or something unless unless it's something like that or i forgot my phone or something like that because sometimes i do walk up door without my phone but um unless it's that i'm not i'm not going back upstairs like i'm just not <laughs> i don't care how much i go to the gym i don't care how fit i am some things i'm just not i'm not doing that i'm not going back upstairs but um <laughs> yeah so i just have my lip gloss thankfully i just have my lip gloss in here but oh that sucks because my lip lighter but I'm gonna be eating anyway, so it's like okay. But yeah, and um, I got this sundress from Target. I got just some regular white sandals because I needed some really bad um, because I do wear white a lot. 
Um, and then I got this brown uh, purse from um, Shoe Deal, which is, I love that store. I haven't been there in a while. Like, you guys, I have been, like, in my own little bubble, like, literally. So, I'm going to be talking about that later. So, just bear with me. But, um, and I got my nails done. Got a new style. Um, but, yeah, it's just a lot. It's, you know, it's a lot I've been, you know doing internally and spiritually but i feel really really good today and yeah we're gonna go try some dominican food so let's go I'm so excited okay you guys so i'm here it's really really nice here um it's pretty quiet i guess because i'm kind of early but um yeah my food came out kind of fast so i got my drink i need to actually be taking a picture of it so i can do a picture so hold on i'm gonna show y'all the food chicken bone out but it's like fried I didn't think it would be fried I thought it would be like you know the baked chicken pollo that you get but it's pretty good the beans are good the drink is good Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. I'm sticky 
eat your vegetables. All right, you guys, so I am back home now. Just um, did my skincare routine, which I have a new skincare routine. Um, it's still the same type of products, like the same um, Korean skincare products. Um, but um, I finally, finally, I feel like got my um, Korean skincare products down packed and i'm so excited about it and i'm getting um two more products tomorrow which i will show you guys as well i'm just so happy about that nothing makes me more happy than like making sure my skincare routine is on point and you know making sure my hygiene is on point making sure you know i smell good you know just <sighs> all the girly things but um I just love my hair so much I love my hair so much <laughs> but um yeah I wanted to talk to you guys have a talk with you guys about um where I've been so um basically you know I just woke up one day and you know when they say you can really wake up one day and just start feeling different like you know what I'm saying so I just woke up one day and I was just like I don't want to vlog literally I said it. like I was in that mood like I know sometimes I feel like oh I don't want to edit like oh I don't want to vlog today blah 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 but I really felt like I'm sorry I'm trying to get I'm just trying to get comfortable um I really um was in a space where I did not want to um do anything like i just felt so out of place i just wasn't feeling like myself and i literally just uh i stopped posting on instagram for a long time um i had i haven't posted on youtube in like two months and i don't know i just wanted to like stay off social media um and just because I feel like you gotta like get in your reality because social media is not real none of this stuff is real like you know what I'm saying um I'm not a person that gets sucked into it but I still feel like like me um being an influencer um me especially I have to make sure that I'm aligned and I'm in tune with my real life like you know um but yeah i just i just didn't feel like vlogging i was just like i just want to take some time to myself and i feel like that's okay like you know um you don't have to make an excuse for why you need some you time or when you just want to just get back in tune with yourself make sure like you're good like you know it, it will be times that i will be sitting up and i will be crying and nobody like not, nobody has done anything to me like i was talking to my mom about this and she was like you know um i understand like you know i love talking to my mom because 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 every time I talk, my mom is like such a mom and then on top of that she's like a therapist so it's just like everything just comes out you know and you know 
um, I was telling her like nothing is like wrong. No one has done anything to me, but I just feel like I don't want to do anything. Like I just, I'm in this place. I was really in a place of stillness where I didn't want to do anything. And then on top of that, like, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like myself. Like I didn't want to like go anywhere and like, my hair wasn't done and then i'm like oh like i'm tired of like putting my hair in a ponytail in a bun every day i just want to like get something done to my hair and i'm i'm always like that girl that you know has something done to her hair like forget all the makeup and all that stuff which i don't even wear majority of the time but still it's like her hair is the least done you know what i'm saying so i don't know y'all i was just feeling so like out of place sure not to, did i have some on my <sighs> but um yeah and then i didn't have my um furniture yet i didn't have my furniture yet at the time and i didn't have my tv like you guys i still don't have a tv in my room but i have my tv in my living room and i have my couch finally and then of course i already bought my rug um, beforehand so like I, I wasn't feeling like so like at home and I and um not that I was feeling like I didn't want to be here because I feel like me moving to Texas was like one of the greatest decisions I've ever made I just feel like when I had left home like I left everything behind like I didn't bring a couch I didn't bring a tv I didn't bring um my bed nothing i left all that and all that energy behind so i basically was starting new and then i just feel like a lot just started to weigh on me and then like my financial situation as far as me having to um um mon like money management like i have to move different like you know what i'm saying my my living situation is different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm living like a whole in a whole different type of space. So I have to adjust to certain things. So I just feel like I needed to take that time. And like I said, I didn't want to do anything but figure it out. And just be to myself and figure it out. But yeah, that's just basically like I what's been happening, you guys. I've just been trying to figure it all out. And you know get myself together and making sure I'm in a great space and making sure you know I'm in a good space to vlog like you know I wasn't feeling like I literally before I started feeling the way I was feeling I had a whole vlog ready to put out and everything it was like almost two hours long because you guys know my vlogs are typically long and I deleted it I deleted all of it I just was like, nope, I don't have it. I don't have it for nobody. But, you know, I told myself, I made myself like a promise. Um, you know, I just, I can't see myself like fully, like not, I can't see myself at all quitting YouTube. I feel like I've been doing this for so long now and I just, I can't see myself not doing it but um what i will say is as far as youtube goes i'm just going to continue to just um but yeah as far as youtube goes you guys um i'm going to continue of course to push out content and um the sponsorships have not stopped but like i said like i didn't feel like myself so all of that came to a pause so yeah and oh another thing um i am no longer going to be wearing wigs um i just i'm also in a space where i don't know i just i have matter of fact i haven't even worn a wig i did wear a u-part wig for like a day with my real hair out but it didn't last long because my hair is natural so that came and went um but other than that i didn't wear i haven't worn a wig since my birthday which was november so wigs are just not what i'm trying to do right now um i'm in a different space like just in general as a woman all type of things like 
you know, I'm just in a different space. So I just, I don't want to do wigs right now. I, I don't know when I'm, I don't even think, I don't know when I'm ever going to do wigs again. I'm just not in that space. So yeah, it's giving braids. And I love them so much. I got it on the side right now, but the outfit I was wearing today was giving middle part. But I will link down below the um, stylist that did my hair. Um, I love my hair so much. And you guys, it's so long. My braids are so long. And I just love not having to do my hair. And always in the gym too, on top of that. And it's like, when your hair is natural and then your hair sweats out it's like oh my god so and then you guys i'm like always in the gym so just the fact that i got my hair braided it just makes it 10 times easier so i don't have to do anything um yeah so yeah i just wanted to my skin looks so good i just wanted to um Get on the camera before I go to bed. Oh, and let me show you guys about the restaurant. So, I loved the restaurant. And, um, it was really nice. And she knows how to make a drink. The girl that made my drink. Oh, it was so good. I think I want to have a glass of wine before I go to bed. <laughs> but, I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. You guys, I'm just trying to get comfortable because, uh, yeah, I'm a little tipsy, but, <sighs> okay, but, um, but yeah, um, the girl that did my, um, goodness, this hair, come on, okay, but yes, the girl that did my hair, I mean, the girl that did my, I'm a little tipsy, Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Oh, can we just can we just chill? All right. Okay. All right. So, um so the girl that did um so the girl that made my drink, the drink was so good. It was like it was Yeah, she know how to make a drink. Like, I need to taste the liquor when I drink. Because what's the point of drinking if you're not going to taste the liquor? But, um, yeah. Uh, she made my drink really good. And then, um, let's see if I can put, make it brighter. Okay. We're in business. Party came in and she just like totally forgot like she was waiting at my table like Sorry, y'all this hair is like super long. I gotta move it But um, yeah, it's like she just forgot like I was at the table. I'm like, um Okay So if I was to get up and walk out <laughs> I'm just playing not plan but plan um yeah she like forgot i was at the table and i'm just like okay um and then i had to tell another girl i'm like can you get her please so then she came and i was gonna like tip her really 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 good because at first like you know she was making sure you know i had what i needed you know um you know she's really sweet and then I'm sitting there for a long time. And I'm like, I'm ready to go. I didn't finish my drink. Like, I'm ready to go. Sitting there all that time. So she didn't get the tip she was going to get. Because, come on now. But other than that, it was really good. Like, I, I had, I think, I thought I was getting chicken poil, like, the chicken pollo, <sighs> the chicken pollo that I normally get, but no, it was like fried pollo and it was bone out, but it was still good. Like, but I just don't eat, I don't really eat fried food, um, anymore. I don't, I don't personally, when I cook, I don't fry food. So, um, and more, lots of the time I'm eating in the house i'm cooking in the house so 
yeah and speaking of is it me or like groceries cost just as much as like the food when you go out hmm. I'm just ranting at this point y'all it's been a long time since I've been on camera and yeah I miss being on camera I miss my channel so and I'm just so happy I got my hair done y'all don't know how happy I, I done had like videos of the boho braids that I've been wanting see when I when I know I'm about to get something done or when I want something like I obsess over it until it get, until like it gets done or unless like it gets done or it happens you know but yeah So tomorrow, um, so tomorrow I'm supposed to be going bowling. We'll see what happens with that. Um, um, what else? Um, I feel like my ro robe is giving loose. I don't like that. But, um. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going bowling tomorrow. I got a little work I need to get done. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna open up just some packages we got from Amazon. Cause I got some stuff coming. It's mainly just like skincare stuff. I had to like calm down from getting like going overboard with getting Amazon packages every day and going to Target every day. <sighs> going to Target every day and getting Starbucks every day. I had to calm down on that. Um so I definitely did. But this past week I definitely like was going like to Starbucks almost every other day and going to target but i hadn't done it in a long time so i feel like i owed it to myself just to bring it on back <clears throat> but um yeah you guys i will see you guys in the morning um i may or may not do my skincare routine with you guys when we wake up and i wake up super early like i'll be up at like I'll be up at between like it it varies. I'll be up at four in the morning, five in the morning, six in the morning. I'll be up like the old folks, okay? But like I be feeling so good when I'm up early and then it's like I go to the gym during the week anyway. So like my body is just so used to being up. Like you know. But yeah. Oh ooh, and I let me tell you guys so before I cut off the camera. <laughs> um I was eating so willy-nilly, like literally I had made um, some Alfredo spaghetti. <laughs> I made some Alfredo spaghetti and it was so good, oh my gosh, like it's like, <sighs> I cook so good, like I just, I can't, but I made some Alfredo spaghetti and I had made some cinnamon rolls with the <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> Well, y'all, why I was banging cinnamon rolls? Cause you know cinnamon rolls is like bread. Like it's still it's like bread, but I have I had never done that before though. Like I, I'm eating cinnamon rolls and spaghetti together. Do y'all know my face was toe up from the flow up? Ooh, like okay, like my face was tore up. Like this whole side, y'all, toe up. And I knew it was coming. Like, I know my body and I know my skin so good. I was telling myself, the way I, every time I, I started eating it, and, and y'all, I'm not eating just one cinnamon roll with my plate. I'm eating two cinnamon rolls. And then, I go and get another plate. <sighs> and then I go and get another plate, knowing good and well. Mm-hmm. I knew exactly what was about to happen. And it it didn't and it happened and it happened. My face was tore up all right here. It's gone now because like I said, I know I know. I be knowing what's gonna happen when I do certain things. So 
<sighs> I'm I'm gonna um give you guys some tips on balance and um getting your skin back to how it's supposed to be when you decide to like have those like cheat days or you know um you just want you just want to eat like that like i just like you guys y'all i feel like in especially now in this life everybody has an opinion about everything it's always somebody talking everybody just talks so much i just feel like you just gotta do what what you what feels good to you what feels right to you you know what i'm saying as far as certain things because everybody just talks so much but um but yeah um i believe in balance um since I first was researching about skincare, uh, when my face used to be like really bad, I mean, horrible. This was like way back then before I started like getting all into the vitamins and the colon cleansing and all that stuff. Like, yeah, now it's just, I, I try to do as much research as I can and I try to like make sure if I do eat a certain way that I know how to get myself back together. Cause it's not like I eat like this all the time, but sometimes I feel like I'm always trying to be perfect or I'm always like, okay, I don't want, I don't want this to happen to my skin. So I'm not going to eat it. I Sometimes I really want to eat it. Like I want a cinnamon roll. I want it. Like I want, I'm hungry and I want a cinnamon roll. So, or I want a cookie. I want a fresh chocolate chip cookie. And I just feel like if I want a fresh chocolate chip cookie, I'm going to go get one. and Or I'm going to make some. Like, I'm hungry for it. So, it's just something that, you know, you shouldn't do all the time. But I feel like when I do it, like, I'll go overboard. Like I said, like, I made that spaghetti and I started eating them cinnamon rolls with the spaghetti. Girl, what is you doing? Why did you do all that? And then when I be done, I be telling myself like, why did you do that? All that now, you, now it's it's you asking for it. It's about to happen. Lo and behold, here come th three days pass by. Boom, boom, whop the bam, face a mess. Like okay, that's what you get for going against the grain. Did I give? Nope. Do it look like I give a fuck? Because I don't. That's how I feel every time I eat certain things and I just want it. I, I'm hungry. But, yeah. Ooh. But, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys some tips. And um, sh you guys pretty much know if you've watched my self-care videos and all that. What I take um, for my skin and all that. But, um. Maybe I should do a full video. I love doing self-care videos. I feel like that's... I love doing that on my channel. And plus, like I said, I have new Korean skincare products that I'm using now. So... And I love them. Um, And it's like trial and error. Because I don't feel like I've had a Korean skincare product that has broken me out. But um, there's just some that I just don't care for and I've had to like go back and forth for figuring out what I wanted to use as far as my skincare so yeah and that's another thing it's like when it comes to self it's just so much that you like have to do as far as like working on yourself self reflecting making sure you healthy making sure you know Making sure you're good inside and out, taking care of your skin, taking care of your hygiene, taking care of your um your mental health. It's just so much to do for self. So it's like huh, that's that's another that's the one of the main reasons why I was taking time away. Because like I said, nothing no nothing has been done to me by anyone. It's just me. It was really just me. And I'm okay with that. Other than that, I don't. 
I can't allow stress or anything that doesn't bring me peace. I can't allow that in my life because it's just, it's so much that you have to deal with yourself in life. I just feel like anything that, anything that make your head hurt, uh, listen, like I tell people, I will take a nap. I don't, I don't have time. I'm tired now. I'm about to go to sleep. Okay, y'all. I feel like I'm just talking. But like I said, I haven't been on the camera in a long time. And I just feel like I'm back at it again with the back at it again. I feel like I'm back at it. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the morning. And, yeah. Good morning, you guys. So... I just got done doing my skincare. You don't want to get Okay. I just got done doing my skincare routine. So, I really don't like how this camera is sitting. I wanted to sit up some more. It's, it's, it's looking real like messy right now. Okay, I don't know. Robe keeps. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> we got the camera situated correctly. Okay, so I just um did my skincare routine. <sighs> I was gonna do it with you guys, but I just got up and got into my morning. So <laughs> yeah, I may do it later on. Um, when I do my, when I uh, wash my face at night, but, um, yeah, so now I am going to style my hair a little bit. I already got it as a side part, but I'm going to use some new products that I got from Target. Um, I got this, um, texture foam called the Docs, the Docs. And it's a mousse. Um, it's actually black owned, which I really love that. I love that Target has a lot of like black owned products in their um in their establishments. And then I have another one, another edge control that I'm gonna use. Um, it's called Edge Boss, and it actually works really good. So, oh, and then I'm going to use this. I'm probably going to use this first, actually. Um, this is the Camille Rose Rosemary Water Daily Strengthening Mist. So, this is what I'm going to use um, to spray in my hair. I try to make sure I'm on point with how I'm supposed to use things as far as, like, my hair. My hair care. But um, this mist is supposed to... This mist is supposed to um, moisturize the hair, of course, and then also like grow, um, grow your hair, of course. So yeah, and it's really easy. All you do is just um, spray it all through your scalp, and it makes your hair feel so good. Makes it feel refreshed. I really put it on the parts where. Um, I was pulling at my hair the most when I do like my ponytails, which is like the back and then my edges. That's where I try to do it the most. That's It is all okay. Whew. I think it's all through the hair. Well, all through my scalp. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna use um 
the mousse. Now this is gonna be my first time using the mousse. I already used the rose water already, so let's see what it's giving. Let's see what it's giving. I mean, it's decent. It's something about all the hair being in the front that I really like. Okay. Now, it's pretty decent. Okay. Now, I want to go ahead and... My hair feels so refreshed with that um with the spray okay so now we're going to lay down these edges my hair is natural so like one thing i like about my natural hair is that my hair curls up and my curl pattern is so beautiful um but when i get my hair wet it just becomes kind of difficult. So I'm gonna see. I don't want to put too much itch stuff. I swear, I feel like all these emails I be getting, it be pointless, pointless emails about nothing. Like what? It's just my email is just being, I seen this girl twist the, her hair inside of the braid. She had did a whole braiding video. I mean a video how she keeps up with her braids and I really liked it. Where are you? Okay. Twist it. Okay. Yeah, I really liked how she um was doing her braiding video, how she keeps up with her braids. And she had her braids in for a long time, but they still looked so good. I love that. I love when people can maintain what they have. The only thing I wish she would have did more was keep my more of my edges out, like right here. Like right here, I wish she would have kept that out some more, but um, because I have to kind of like improvise with this part of my hair that wants to curl up but see if she would have if she would have kept more of this out I wouldn't have to work so much to do um this part 
but next time I'll just tell I'll just like tell her to keep more of like this part out like I'm pretty vocal when it comes to like when I get my hair done like I'll say something but I didn't really know how much she how this she was keeping out so but it's okay I'll just like I said I'll make sure next time I tell her to you know do that pretty easy you know what I'm saying let your stylist know how you how you want your hair because at the end of the day it's how you feel when you get out of the chair you know oh and i think also when i get them done again when i get my hair done again i want to have more like curly pieces in it but I really, like I said, I really love my hair. She took her time. Oh my God. Okay, you guys. So while I'm doing this, let's talk about um this movie that I've seen people share. Um, It was called, and I had watched it. I watched it like early. Um, Not early. Um, I watched it. When did I watch it? I think I watched it late before. I was going, I was about to go to bed. Um, I forgot. It was called The Boy, The Boy, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And I think it was, I, I believe it was based off of like back then, you know, when the Jews had their situation going on. Um, and they were going to concentration camps. I mean, we learned it in school and all that. So, yeah, but um so i guess okay so this is i'm gonna I'm just sum it up so um a boy a boy and his family it was a boy and a girl mom and dad they were married the husband was a soldier and they had to move um they were in a good area at first he had his friends she had her friends blah 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 and then they ended up moving to this new this new place and the boy didn't have no friends and the girl really didn't have no friends so um what ended up happening was they moved to a place um they ended up moving to a place where like it was a concentration camp for the jews and um the mom had no idea like that she knew her husband was a soldier but she didn't know that he was like like doing evil stuff like that like you know treating jews like that and like you know doing how they used to do like burn them up and tort like torture them and do stuff like that she didn't know he was a part of that so she ended up finding out um and you know she didn't like it you know and the little boy um so they they okay so they when they moved the concentration camp was literally like not even that far from the house it was like feet away like the boy the little boy it like if he went to his backyard all he had to do was walk through the like the the forest or whatever they whatever you want to call that he all he had to do was walk through the trees and all that and the camp was like literally right there you could see it from his window which was not okay but he ended up going over there and his mom and his mom was telling him not to not to go back there like do not go in the backyard stay in the front so he ended up doing of course what, what kids do because he didn't have no friends he ended up starting to explore and he went anyway and then he ended up meeting a little boy who was sitting like right by the um the fence and the fence like it was like electrical I, i'm guessing it was like um silver like electrical type of fence so that the jews couldn't get out but the boy would sit on one side and then he would sit on the other side and then they became friends i don't want to tell the movie because i don't know who hasn't seen it but if you want to watch it it um it's called boy the boy in the striped pajamas and the reason why it's called that is because the little boy had no idea that that little boy was um he had no idea that that little boy was a Jew and um, basically they were all taken and put into that camp. So he thought they were just pajamas. He was like, what, six years old, six or seven years old, I'm thinking. No, six, seven, eight, one between those ages. He, he didn't know. 
So that's why it's called Glow in the Shark Pajamas. So all I have to say is um, I have mixed reviews about it because um, even though I do know that children are pure, they're vulnerable, and they don't really... And you know, at certain at, when it comes to like at a certain age, they don't listen. Like you, you tell them to do something doesn't mean that they're gonna listen. I mean, come on now. Like even when we was in high school, we still didn't listen. So you know, whatever. But I don't know. It's, it's it could be a touchy situation. So that's why I don't really want to like speak on it too much as far as the movie. Um, but I just will say. Um, I just wish that maybe the child had had been watched more like yeah I, I just wish I wish that they would have been watching their watching their child a bit more you know what I'm saying that's why you really have to watch your kids that's what I because I don't want to tell the movie so that's all I'm going to say as far as that goes for people that haven't seen it watch it and if you want to talk about it, you put it in the comments. But I, like I said, I just feel like they would have watched him a bit more and paid attention to him because it, it was very unfortunate. And a lot of people say, like, um, if you watch it, you're going to cry. I personally didn't cry because I had, like I said, I had mixed feelings about it. But the whole um holocaust situation like i said we learned this in school i think that that was so horrible just so horrible like and it was just stupid like the way they the way they would think and act towards jews and that part i just i'm not with like that that part will get me upset i'm just i'm just not with people being treated that way i like i can't even watch like slavery movies um when it comes to how my people were treated so i just feel like just humanity in general i just feel like people should not be treated like that based off of however one person was feeling and then made everybody else follow suit but i don't know it's, it's a lot of stuff about hitler and all that all that stuff it's just so it's so much to that but yeah we're not gonna even touch on it because that guy could be a whole a whole another subject but i'm just uh it just it's annoying whenever i see stuff about like the holocaust too it's it's like really hard for me to watch that too because i just don't like stuff like that and then um like like i said we used to w watch stuff like that in school and it just it's all just not okay but the only reason why i watched that movie is because I wanted at first I didn't know that it was based off of that though I didn't like seeing the um, cover of it I didn't know that it was based off of that but then when I started when I watched the trailer and then uh, I'm like okay let me see what this is about and then one of uh, somebody that I watched who somebody that is an actress she played the mom I forgot her name but she played in um what is that movie um she played in a movie with Paul Walker Running Scared. She played in a movie with Paul Walker called Running Scared. She played in a whole bunch of other movies too, but I think she's a great actor. So yeah, I definitely wanted to watch it too. But yeah, check check it out. Again, it's called um, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. It is on Prime Video. You could definitely watch it. I'm not sure if it's on anything else. Prime Stars. I think it's Prime and Stars are connected. You know. So yeah, just watch it and see how you like it. But yeah, I'm about to head to the store and um, get, what am I going to get? I want to get a mop. I know I don't have a mop. I'm just, I'm kind of over it. Need to get a mop and then some, just some cleaning supplies. I'm going to be cleaning up the house. I really like, my house pretty much stays clean because I'm literally one person. And my house always stays clean. But I do want to go ahead and mop. And then I should get a candle. Because I ran out of candles. Which is annoying. But yeah. Let me. I'm going to go ahead and. Um, get these edges on the other side laid. I just. I, all I do is like curl them up. Because like I said. My, my natural hair is. Um. My natural hair was curly, so I just like I just let it let my hair do its own thing when it comes to that. So 
yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then i'm gonna get dressed and see you guys when i get dressed it feels so good outside i don't know why i'm doing but it feels so good outside this is why this is why I'm so happy that I moved to Dallas because just walking outside and it just feels so good like it literally feels so good outside it's supposed to be high of 70 79 degrees okay this hair is so beautiful um yeah so we're gonna head to i don't even gotta turn on my air just keep the window down it feels that good um yeah i'm gonna go get some coffee first to start the day because we gotta handle some business today i gotta get some things mailed off fill out some paperwork um and then, um, yeah, so I want to start the day off with some coffee. And that's pretty much going to curb my appetite a little bit for the day. So I don't mind that. Um, yeah. And, yeah, coffee. So I maneuver. You know, I'm sorry, I'm a Starbucks girl by heart. Of course. I'm so extra. Um, yeah, I normally go to Target, inside Target to get my coffee. And my girl that's there, she already knows. Well, I got two girls, maybe three that's there and they always know what I'm gonna get, my usual. Um, but then sometimes I do go to um, Dunkin Donuts and get the French vanilla coffee hot coffee but I don't know it's not giving hot coffee it's giving very much iced coffee <laughs> so yeah that's probably what it's gonna be giving today and yeah so we're gonna go to um Starbucks and we're gonna get some coffee and then go to TJ Maxx but it's like TJ Maxx is where a Starbucks is that I go to sometimes. But I don't like how they make my drink all the time. It, I don't really care how they make it sometimes. I feel like the girl that makes my drink at Starbucks, she really understands and she really makes my drink the way I like it. She understands me. She puts love into it. Like, you know. And yesterday, like... Um, this boy, he had got the matcha, which I want to try that one of these days. But he got, he had got this not this matcha and cold foam, uh, venti, uh, venti drink, the matcha and uh, vanilla cold foam drink. And then he had got something to eat, I guess. And then I guess um, the girl, I gotta get her name because we cool uh <laughs> when i go there um but she has found she was oh you owe me three dollars and he was like oh and then he tried to pay for it and it you know i guess it didn't go through and then he was like okay let me call my mom i'm like i got you like especially at starbucks come on now <laughs> i get it so i had got um i had paid for his stuff and then she was like it's okay girl i got you like you can just pay for his and then i got you i was like okay girl thanks like you know it's just like every good just bounces off good you know what i'm saying yesterday was a great day and i'm just so happy that like i'm just back in a like great spirits like with myself you know like I always say, life is a marathon, okay? But yeah, let's go ahead and head to Starbucks. I'm still debating if I really wanna, cause normally the Starbucks that I do go to, um, cause I go to the Starbucks is by TJ Maxx, but when I do go there, um, like it be packed. Like literally like a, like packed around so I normally do go there too 
if I don't want to go inside Target because sometimes it triggers me to get Starbucks and then I'm looking around in Target and it's like girl like that's not what you came in here for so that's why sometimes I won't go in there <laughs> But we're gonna see how I'm feeling. I don't know. I don't know. I may just go through the drive through but we'll see how I pack that. Yes, TJ Maxx is right by this Starbucks, so that would be why I wouldn't go inside Target because it'll be going from one place all the way to another. But I mean, technically, I I can do what I want to do. <laughs> um, be yeah, outside. But um, yeah. Let's just go. I don't know. I just feel like I've been talking and talking and talking to you guys. So I hope like. You guys don't think it's too much. I'm just so happy I'm back on camera. Let's see. But okay. Light in the hair do not look good. Okay, you guys, I'm in TDJ Maxx early. I don't know if they even got any wraps in here. But I'm just looking at some candles right now. Because I want to get some candles for my living room. I'm really trying to get a big one so I don't have to keep like coming back and getting candles. But the big ones are not giving what it what they're supposed to give. I like this one, it will smell that good. It's big, but it don't smell good. It smell this. That's thing. That smell like some strong coffee that don't got no cream or sugar in it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. None of these candles are giving. Well, none of the big ones. I know the smaller ones are gonna be. I'm tired of getting some candles. Y'all, my shape is just giving. I wish you guys could see it, but you guys, if you follow my Instagram and my stories and stuff, you know, the shape is giving. That's why it's so important to stay in the gym. Okay. Um, yeah, it's giving. What is this? Is it, oh, is somebody trying to be funny? What is this? Oh, that is neat. Look at that. And it's like, I thought it was stuck in there, but it's like, like this. This is neat. I like it. I don't know if I want to pay, pay $12.99 for it, but it ain't. It needs to be a little bigger than that if I'm pay $12.99. See y'all, I shop, but I'm like, a, I'm, I'm a real shopper. Ooh, that's not kind of good. Like, but I don't like this. These candles are just so plain to me today. I really like that Santa wood candle, but I don't know. I'm here to It's $12 for that. It's not that big for $12. So. Alright. So, I'll tell you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I swear I had the candle in my hand to, to buy it. And then when I look in my bag, the candle's not there. I, like I could have sworn I had the candle in my hand at the counter. That's what happened when I just went to Kroger the other day. Like I could have sworn I had the um these jalapeno like baked chips in my hand and 
I could have sworn I swiped them and everything. And then I look at my bag and I don't see no chips. That's how I just be like, I'll be like, yeah, it wasn't meant to be because if I literally had it in my hand and then I notice I don't have it, like, and then I look at the receipt and it's not on there, I wouldn't even get it. It's okay. Okay, so I got this sand and fog. I love this company. Whoever has this sand and fog. I actually thought this was a I actually thought this was a candle. I actually thought this was a candle, but it's actually body butter and they just put it in the wrong in the wrong aisle. And the thing is about TJ Maxx and the Marshalls and stuff like that, like you see a whole bunch of stuff that you'll probably never see again. So that's why when I see something, I, I'll literally try to get it like while it's there because nine times out of 10, if it's not like a candle or, or maybe like a, com not even a comforter set, like maybe up for sure, for sure. If it's a candle, you'll probably see it there if you go back. But when it comes to like lotions and stuff and all that other stuff, nine times out of 10, you'll never see it again. So I'll be having to get it when I can get it. But I got this Sandy Fog Body Butter and this is, it smells, it's like really subtle. It's not, it's not too much, but it still smells good. It's a vanilla, vanilla sand body butter. So I'm just really into body butters right now too, so. I wish they would have had another one, but I just, I found that just looking through. Like if you really, this is how you know you really like a shopper. That's why I be telling people like, even though I've calmed down, like some people will say I shop a lot, but honestly, I really, I'm a, I'm a good shopper. Meaning like, I literally look through stuff. Like I'll be in the store for a long time, really looking at things and you're like, hmm, this cost this much. This cost well, you get this thing. Yeah, I'm that type of shopper, so. And then I got this six pack of silicone sponges because that's what I used to wash my dishes. Um, I, I didn't find a mop. I went to the Dollar Tree and they had the mop thing, but not the like, but not the stick. I'm like, how do you guys got the mop here, but not the stick? So whatever. I'm just gonna have to make it do what to do. Um, and then I, I hate that they got these little sticker things on there. It's just not, okay. Just the, I had to get that sticker off. So, um, this is the Camille Glow body oil with vitamin C, orange blossom. It smells really, really good. This also has a subtle smell, um, but it smells girly like i can't really explain the smell but it smells really good and i've also been into oils too i'm gonna show you guys another oil that i got from this other tj maxx that i went to um but this one smells really good i'm really really into body but getting into body butters and body oils more and the body oils i'm telling you the body oils are top tier it's like those there's something about it like it just lasts on the body so long and it just smells so good you know and then I just got, um, I'm so blue that I didn't get a candle. <laughs> I got a candle, but I be trying to like, make sure I have a candle on top of a candle so that I don't run out of candles. Then I gotta go and buy a whole bunch of other candles. That's what I be trying to do, but whatever. I can use the one I got. Um, so I got the Tahitian Vanilla Hydrating Body Milk with Shea Butter by Kapari. I've talked about Kapari products. This one in particular, I like this one over all the other Kapari uh, products because now their body butter it smells good but it it's not um hydrating it, it it doesn't do anything for your skin um but it smells really good it smells like a babe like literally a baby um this one same thing same smell smells so good smell like a baby um i like this one though better than the um body butter i think this one gives you just a little bit more of a hydrating maybe because it's body milk i don't know but in a way my my color and I don't like that. I don't know. I hope this is like, I hope this is not too dark because I feel like it's taking away my um 
my complexion with it being too bright but yeah so i got this one i'm running out of that other body butter anyway which is okay like i said it's not their body the kapari body butter is not hydrating it just smells good <laughs> so i normally mix that with my um body oil i mix it with the body oil and then it just it comes together really good and lots and sometimes you some products are good mix mixed together like that's just how it goes got the sticker off of this one i gotta get the sticker off that body butter okay but i'm gonna put all this stuff up dollar tree i really didn't i just got the comet um foam bath cleaner and then i got the spick and span um, advanced cleaner multi-purpose cleaner um i just feel like everything is just going up in cost and it's just like well, since we know everything costs 125 it's supposed to be dollar tree now everything 125 like you know what and then let me tell y'all before let me tell y'all let me tell y'all before i get off the camera so i'm i'm in the um i'm in the tj see one thing about me I'm really, 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 really kind. Really kind. But one thing that'll piss me off is you not having manners. Like, and I see it like all the time. Nine times out of 10, people in Texas are really sweet, you know. But I feel like it's just always a handful. It's just like, are you, did you not learn any manners? And I just, so I'm in a parking lot. I'm co coming through the parking lot to get in the TJ Maxx or whatever. And um, I'm coming down the, the parking lot because uh, I see a parking space in front of TJ Maxx. So this one dude is coming, but I'm in the middle of the parking lot. So it's like, you can't get through unless I go. And I got the right of way anyway. So he think he just finna keep, I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? Are you just gonna hit my car? Is that is that the plan? Is is that what you plan on doing? Just just hitting my car. I'm right in the middle, and you know you can't fit, so you just gonna you just gonna come through. That's where you're gonna piss me off, and that's where I have to tell you about yourself. Calm down. Are you really gonna hit my car? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do that make sense to you? That's the see. That's what type of person I am. Don't don't please don't don't be stupid. Please don't. And then. I'm at TJ Maxx and you know, I'm just shop, 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 whatever. And my car is right like on, on this side. Cause you know, you got people wanting to come on the other side to move, to put their car in. Okay, cool. So it's this lady that come and I, I guess her kids are behind her or whatever. So my cart is right here and she all on my cart, just, she all on the cart, just, I'm like, excuse me, do you need to get through? Like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, are you going to say, just say excuse me. That's all you got to do. Like, because I'll be looking and I'll be like, a lot of people, <laughs> some people be expecting you to just move out their way. No, you're going to say excuse me. That's what you're going to do. I say excuse me. So, that, you know what you're going to do? You're going to say excuse me too. I'm not just about to move out your way because you feel like, you don't have to say, excuse me. Where are your manners? If you need to get through, just say, excuse me. Now, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. Do you need to get through? If I'm like, if I see you or something. But if I'm literally like looking at something and then out the corner of my eye, all I see is this and you all on my car. All you have to do is say, excuse me. That's all you have to do. People aren't just gonna move out your way because you just come right there. It, it's not gonna happen like that all the time. Ooh, it just, it bleh. <sighs> and I be really wanting people to sit there and think about, um, and think about their foolishness. I really do, cause it's foolish. What are you doing? But yeah, that's just, that's just one of my pet peeves when people just don't have manners and people don't say, excuse me. Um, let me stop doing that because it's kind of messing up my nail. Come on, chipping off my nail. Yeah, that's just, yeah, I just, I get annoyed when people 
when people do dumb stuff like that. But okay, I'm about to um, I'm about to put this stuff up. I think it's still brighter no matter what. Okay, yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and just um. I'm about to put this stuff up. I may sit down for a little minute because I've been up for a while. I got outside pretty early because I already knew what was going to happen, especially going to TJ Maxx. You got to get there early and get out because the line literally be all the way to the back. Like, I'm glad I got in and got out. It actually was nobody in line when I got there. So, yeah. But I'm about to put this stuff up and then I will get back on the camera later on my other stuff from amazon has not gotten here yet so we will just we will just wait on that yeah we'll just wait on that but yeah get back on later there goes, okay Okay, all right, you guys. So I just got out the shower and everything. I did my skincare routine. I know I said I was gonna do my skincare routine with you guys, but <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna do a full skincare routine though um, for a self care video because you guys know I do not disappoint. And I'm sorry my camera is like this, you guys. I have to um, buy another one of those. Um, phone sticky things where I can just I can also video off my phone that's what I was doing at first when I was doing my self-care videos so um that's um I don't know I just like I just like putting a little hair in the front you know what I'm saying yeah um so that's what I'm gonna end up getting they don't they don't cost nothing but like they don't last long so that's why I haven't um I think I like it on the side Y'all, my brace looks so good. Okay. But it's okay. You guys can still see me and you guys know the vibes. You guys know the vibes. Okay, so I just had to pause um, this movie I'm watching. I'm watching Beauty Shop with Queen Latifah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I had to pause. Um beauty shop because i'm watching beauty shop and you know youtube catches everything like you could be playing something um you could be playing something from an old movie and here they go talking about some it's copyright like i don't have time for that i want to show you guys the products still that i used um um that i just got amazon goodness can you just get off me like what is what is it giving okay I was just here. Okay. So, um, yeah, my Amazon order had already came. So I'm going to show you guys what I, um, well, I, I didn't use the toner. I forgot because I haven't been using toner in a couple days. So I was just getting used to doing my um, skincare, how I was doing it and forgot to do the toner. But, um, this is the, um, Propolis Synergy Toner. These, um, this toner has great reviews, so I'm going to be using this toner, and I'll show you guys, and I'll let you guys know how um, how it works. Um, I did a little like um, patch test, and because they said it was like really thick, but it's really not that thick. I just have to test it on myself. One thing about reviews, you guys, you can look at reviews. I think you can take reviews into consideration but like if the reviews have this is how i look at it if the reviews have like i say between because even like the reviews that have 700 800 i've gotten like products and stuff from those reviews and those were still really good so i guess it's just all about like you trying out the product and still look at the reviews because i would say if it's like half if it's like half and it's saying it's not good then it's like Ooh, it could be a hit or miss but um yeah this one um cos rx it has great products we all know about the snail mucin um moisturizer you know and everything so they pretty much have good products but um the new products that i have been using which i'm going to be using this one soon um i am using the niacinamide um acetyl glue glue Cosamine and zinc. Zinc is also really good for the skin. This also had great reviews, so I'm using this. This is from CosRx as well. Um, I'm also using, which this also just came along with the um, toner. 
Um, I'm using the um, Super Vitamin E um, Hyaluronic Acid. And I could have sworn this also had vitamin C in it too. Oh, yep, it's got vitamin C in it as well. So it's the vitamin C. And then it also has vitamin E, hyaluronic acid. This one also had um, great reviews as well. Um, and then the only thing people really said is that it has a horrible smell, which I just feel like it all depends on what you think may smell. I don't know. Every Like I said, everybody different. People, people be going overboard. Um, and then I'm using the Propolis Light Ampule um, uh, Serum. So this is also a good serum as well. Good for the skin. All these, all these are great for um, skin that has hyperpigmentation, um, sensitive skin, brightening the skin, any type of dullness or anything. All these products, I'm using all of these together. Um, and then also I am using the all-in-one cream, which is the snail mucin moisturizer from Cosrx that everybody loves so much. So I just started using this again. I was using like um, a different like moisturizer, but you know, moisturizer doesn't like it. I don't know. I've never moisturizer has never hurt my skin personally. So yeah. So yeah, I just switched. Um, I just switched moisturizers. So yeah, that is going to be it for the night. I just wanted to show you guys all of my new skincare products, all of my new Korean skincare products that I'm using. Um, I have drank one glass of wine. No, actually I drank two glasses of wine. I, um cleaned up the house and everything and I was drinking my wine listening to music um so I'm gonna have another glass um yeah because I'm in a great mood <sighs> you guys I want to like talk about something as far as like spiritually but I'm not gonna talk about it right now I'm just gonna let things flow because literally something just happened today so I just want to just let it flow and let it right now so i'll talk about it maybe some other time or maybe i don't know we'll see but um yeah so um yeah that's basically yeah i'm using the as far as like my cleanser i use the um low ph morning gel cleanser by cos rx as well this is a very very mild cleanser for sensitive skin it has been doing my skin so good um and then I, of course um i double cleanse with the Adoderm Bioderma oil oil cleanser water cleanser so, yeah and everything has been doing my face so good any my any like any like breakouts that I have like I got a breakout right here yeah I gotta you know just maybe a little breakout or so but other than that it's really just me trying to tackle my um my hyperpigmentation any dark spots that I got from any acne that I had so that's pretty much all it is um but yeah I'm so excited to see what this vitamin C is gonna do I'm so excited to use this toner I'm gonna be using that toner in the morning though because yeah I forgot to use it today but that is okay um yeah so excited i get excited every time i buy new skincare products this just okay how about we just, how about we just lay it lay it down like that can we just yeah there we go okay yeah so i'm about to um eat again um i have leftover jambalaya and then oh i switched it up and made some andouille sausage cajun andouille sausage and um yeah i'm just gonna have a glass of wine and then i'm just going to chill for the rest of the night okay i don't know what i just did but um i wanted to show you guys I don't know if you guys can see my hair. Mine just, my cover just be laying on the floor. It's okay, I just cleaned up real good. But the girl. Mm -mm. 
You guys, my body has been looking so fire. It's the gym for me. It's the gym for me. The skin been looking good. The body been looking good. Yeah, my hair is all curled up. That's would be a natural do for you. But yeah. Good morning, you guys. So, as already know, we're headed to the gym. I was supposed to get up at 5, but my body was telling me, like, I'm tired. I'm a little more sleepy. So, we didn't get up at 5 like we normally do, but it's okay. <sighs> it's okay. Um, I wish I would have got up at 5 because, okay. But anyway, yeah, it's okay. So, we got our hair in a cute little updo pony. We got the edges laid they look so good um yeah so we're about to go ahead and head over to the gym um i was debating on if i wanted to film it or not because yeah i just want to get right into it but it's full body day so yeah um what was i gonna say um i already sprayed my perfume and everything so and it feels really good outside, so I don't have to wear a jacket or anything. Um, and then I have to, we gotta go to the post office and mail some stuff off. Um, I wanna grab some coffee. And then, yeah, we're gonna start work later. But yeah, um, it's supposed to be a solar eclipse today, so. I already know how me and the un me and the universe got a, a a healthy relationship. We have a good relationship, so I'm not really worried about nothing. But okay, let me stop messing with my hair because I just I just really 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 love my hair. But I'm not gonna keep this in front of my hair. I just be wanting to like show it. Okay, shout out to my skin. It looks so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to the gym. All right, we is in here. Oh, and you guys, they finally put a lock on the gym. We finally, they finally start like closing up the gates. So you gotta open the gate to park if you got a cover parking spot. And yeah, they just getting it together around here. Um, this is the lock to the gym and then the lock to the gates and everything. So shout out to them for getting it together. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get to it. I'm just gonna stretch and everything. <sighs> Happy Monday.
Hey you guys, so I just wanted to get on camera and show you guys. Well, I'm not going to show you guys what I'm wearing because I'm not really wearing nothing spectacular. Very comfortable. Um, I'm just wearing, this is like my favorite go-to outfit. <laughs> it's this white bodysuit and I don't have on no pants right now so I'm not going to move too much. But um, this white bodysuit top and my gray floral sweatpants i love i love the outfit so much it's like it's giving simple it's giving very much simple girl but casual and cute so me um and yeah then i have my hair in this up to i did my baby hairs it looks so good i'm going so i'm going bowling um i'm not going to I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera, but I'm going to vlog on my phone. Like I said, when I go out um, on my date, when I go out on a date, I just don't. When I go out on a date, I don't be having my camera all like, you know. Just trying to enjoy the time. Just, just want to enjoy the time, you know. The smell I'm wearing today is from Dossier. It is Gorman White Flowers. It smells so good. Very girly. And that's what it's always going to get. Oof. And I don't drink a glass of wine. I'm sure we're going to drink when we get there too. We have a bet going on. I told him I was going to be him and Bolin. And he was gonna pay for my next nail set and then he wants something from Nike or whatever. But I already got my nails done, so it's kinda like I may wanna do something else. But whatever it's giving, he gonna go with it. So yeah. So cute. So cute. Okay, so I'm about to put on my sweatpants pants real quick. I don't know, I just start, y'all, like, since I don't even wear makeup like that, I just feel like I look 10 times better without makeup. Like, it's giving, it's giving, like, why wear makeup? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Got my outfit. And then I think I'm just gonna wear... Okay, y'all, it's giving very much. I'm just about to wear these sandals and my white, my small white bag. Cause like I said, we're going bowling, so like, don't gotta do the most, and it's supposed to rain, so hopefully it don't rain too hard. But yeah, okay. Just gonna wait for him to get here. I wanna drink a little bit more wine, but I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Just just whatever <sighs> I want I want y'all to see my baby here can y'all see my baby hair oh yeah I just wanted to show you guys my baby hair because it looks good This is why I'm so happy I got braids, you guys, because my braids is giving, honey, and my hair. Yes, and my skin. Everything is giving. It's giving very much that without the makeup. And I love that for me. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait for him to get here and then yeah, I'll film what I feel. <laughs> Good afternoon, you guys. So it is the next day, and um, 
yeah i have like an hour and 30 minutes left of work so i just got my groceries from the front door i got a walmart um grocery order i was gonna do target but tar let me think i could have done target but target don't always have what i want from walmart and walmart don't always have walmart really don't be having what i be wanting from target so but um but yeah so let's go ahead i'm gonna show you guys what i got and then tell you guys about hold on okay so i got some red potatoes this is gonna be for when i make um hamburgers sloppy joe you know stuff like that the good stuff um let me see if i can put my, put my hair i like it in the front like it's certain angles where i like this in the front okay i love this half up half down look okay and I got some spicy black bean hamburgers. This is from Morningstar Farms, plant based. It's so good. And it is spicy. Um, I love this spicy bean. Okay. And then I got some chicken thighs. Some ground turkey. Some um, brioche bakery bread. This is the thick bread. Oh, that bread is the best bread to get. That's some kitty pop. Um, oh, I don't think I got the white cheddar. Okay, this is just the regular one, but it still tastes good. It's just, I love the white cheddar, but I like the other one too. This is regular butter. And then I got some sausage just for the jambalaya. I'm making jambalaya tonight. You guys, a lot of food that I make goes in rotation. I definitely need some more recipes, but yeah, that's what we're making tonight. I already um, prepped the shrimp and everything. I seasoned it and everything. I was just waiting on the sausage so I can just put it with the shrimp. And then I have cream, basil, alfredo, um, and then I have my spaghetti pasta. I'm gonna be making um, spaghetti alfredo again, maybe sometime next week. And I just needed to re-up on some things. And then I got the tomato, basil, garlic. Spaghetti. Viva, paper towel. The best one. Oh my god. And then these Nutri Grain bars. These Nutri Grain bites. Strawberry. So good. Coming up back. Love this as a snack. I'm about to have. filmed a little bit of the day yesterday but like I said you know I'm not gonna be putting him on my channel or anything like that at least like it's not that's not really my my thing I pretty much I don't I don't do stuff like like that like I said I've been like even with my last relationship I um of course, like we posted pictures, like when we went on, the, on trips together, and you know, so stuff like that. It wasn't like, like all the time, though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just 
for me to be an influencer i am a bit private but yeah as you guys can see i beat him well you guys didn't see the whole game because like i said you know just was enjoying you know and it's this bowling place i forgot the name of it but they have a bar in there, they have an arcade, and they have um, bowling, the arcade, and then they have a bar in there. So, of course, needed some liquor, you know what I'm saying? Took some shots, got the bowling. I told him I could bowl, like I could bowl for real. Like I be, uh, I be, I be doing tricks, okay? Don't do it. And I told him, and I won the bet. So, <laughs> yeah, it was a great night. Yeah, it was a great night. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to eat this snack. Like I said, guys, try these bites. Nutri-grain bites from... Uh, you can get, you could probably get them from Kroger, too. But they're at Walmart. But, yeah, I'm about to put this food up. And then probably start cooking at 5. Because um, I get off at 6. But, like, usually um, we have some downtime around this time um so i'll start cooking and yeah so i'm just gonna put this stuff up and then you guys have seen me make jambalaya before so it's not something you see um necessarily um oh but i'm but, but y'all know i haven't been like i said i haven't been on camera it's, you know i took a little break so we'll see um i may have a glass of wine i don't know maybe not maybe just drink my coconut water but Okay, just make sure, wanted to make sure I got back on camera just to, you know, let you guys know what was going on. Good morning, you guys. So it is April 10th. It is Wednesday. And I'm about to, I think I want to go get some coffee from Dunkin' Donuts um, before it starts. I'm not going to even say the word because. I just feel like words are powerful, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say the words before it starts doing a little side miles eye. You know, um, I'm trying to figure out what fragrance I want to put on. Um, I wanna put on nothing too, too fragrant. Maybe something vanilla. Something real subtle. I'm just going to um, put on this mix bar vanilla bourbon. Something really like soft and subtle. Mostly a lot of my fragrance are like soft, but some of them are like really, really, really potent. You know what I'm saying? But I have on just my, um, my bralette and my cardigan. And then I have on these gray sweatpants. So, yeah. I need to put on some of the gloves. Okay. I just need to put on some lip gloss. It's like super dark outside. Well, it's like really um, gloomy, <sighs> but I somewhat did my baby hairs. My um, my natural hair is just it's automatically gonna curl back up. So you know, whatever with that. But yeah, like I said, I got on these gray sweatpants. You can't see them, but yeah, I'm about to like I said go get some coffee really quick. It's nine clock at the clock in at 10 and Dunkin Donuts is not that far so yeah I still have some coffee from yesterday but it's you know not morning. shout out to the skin because cars are eggs I'm telling you guys them um Korean products are everything but it's not just the Korean products it's also like how you eat and also um 
the supplements you take like i think what really also helps my skin is black seed oil black seed oil is top tier 1010 recommend to take that um also hum the cleansing um vitamins hum cleansing vitamins black seed and um, what else I take liquid chlorofresh. I take the capsules though. Those are also good too. But yeah. Okay, I'm about to head out. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. Well, I can see it the words, but whatever. Okay. Let's get ready for the day. Well, I'm already ready for the day, but get this coffee. Good morning, you guys. So I just came from the gym. Today is Thursday, April 11th. And we are about to try, we are about to try the, um, um, venti matcha with these specific ingredients and I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna add my own little spin to it because I don't like chai. I had just figured out, like I was thinking about it. I was really, really thinking hard. I'm like, I know I don't like chai. I know it don't taste good to me. So I'm gonna do the uh, venti matcha. I'm gonna add the vanilla. I really love vanilla. I'm gonna add five pumps of the vanilla. Um, and then I'm just gonna do, instead of lavender cold foam, I'm gonna do vanilla cold foam because I like vanilla so yeah I'm just gonna add my little spin on to it and then we'll see how I like it um, just because you know I don't want to rear too much away from the ingredients that I like in my stuff because that tastes good to me so yeah so we're about to go ahead and head over to Target slash Starbucks um and then yeah i'm gonna go ahead and then get ready for work we did legs today so feel good I don't know what people be doing. It be people just be it be so it be it be giving just what is you doing? Like I don't know. But it's a little chilly outside, so I got my coat. It's a little chilly outside. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's head to Starbucks. Fingers crossed. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a straw too this time because I normally don't care for a straw but I don't know I may not get a straw who knows but I'm excited about this because we're trying a I don't know why this curl up I'm gonna go down I don't, I don't know but we're gonna try this new drink I'm very excited about it and also um I gotta get some more seasoning because I'm making fries and um hamburgers tonight I'm gonna do those plant-based hamburgers. You guys have seen that before. It's like a spicy black bean hamburger. And I'm gonna peel some uh, potatoes. So, yeah, okay. Okay, you guys, let's try it. It's good. It's really good. It's good. Yep. I didn't do the lavender cold foam. I did the vanilla. I'm glad I did the vanilla because like I said, that's like what I'm used to. And it tastes good. Mm. 
yeah the matcha the matcha kind of gives it that like you know that one taste but then like the the um syrup pumps and the sweet cold foam makes it like sweet and it does taste like if you ate some cereal and you just drinking the milk that's exactly what it tastes like like a lot of people said that that's exactly what it tastes like so yeah yeah it needs sweet cold foam though and the pumps of like syrup And I did the extra, I did the extra vanilla sweet cold foam, so I be needing extra cold foam, like a lot. So, okay, I'm about to, and then I just got some seasonings because I was running out of seasonings and I need to season my fries when I cut them up. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the house, cut up these potatoes so I can have them ready for later, and then to just cook them. I don't fry my food, I put my hamburgers in the oven and my fries in the oven so yeah okay good morning you guys so it is friday it is april i believe april 11th or april 12th one of those I'm about to head to the gym really fast. I'm not doing too much today. I'm just doing a little bit of abs. It's gonna be like a 15, 20 minute workout. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna be, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that much. Um, But yeah, I was trying to talk myself out of going to the gym today, but I'm like, let's just do a little something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just to, <sighs> yeah, I'm just, let's just go. my water. I'll be forgetting to turn off these lights sometimes. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Starbucks again and get um, that drink. That matcha drink yesterday. Um, I highly, highly recommend that you guys get that um, matcha drink. Five five pumps of vanilla, venti matcha, five pumps of vanilla, and extra vanilla sweet cold foam. It's gonna do you good, okay? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, my stuff going. I need to get some pre-workout because I ran out. My legs are like so sore right now. And y'all, I was gonna bring my coat to wear outside. Cause it said it was like in the 50s, but it definitely don't feel like it's in the 50s. It feel more like it's in the 60s. And Texas weather be so iffy. I be feeling like I gotta bring my coat, but I really don't gotta bring my coat. Like I said, I'm not doing too much. I'm just about to do some abs real quick. And yeah, do this, do that for like 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead. Oh, we gotta go to parcel pending because we gotta get a package. And then that's it. Then we are gonna start work, so. use my natural lighting but it's still like really gloomy outside a little bit well 
it's not gloomy it's just like it's gloomy in here <laughs> so yeah okay so the parcel pending I got some clean skin towels from a clean skin a clean skin towel company so I'm gonna review those I'm gonna do those and like I'm gonna do those in like one of my self-care videos <sighs> we love my self-care videos okay and then ugh, of course got my matcha drink the lady was telling me because they all know me in Target or whatever and you know Starbucks is in Target so she was like oh. She was asking me, um, like, am I addicted to Starbucks, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, somewhat. Of course, like, I've been drinking Starbucks for, like, a long time. At first, I was not drinking Starbucks, though. I was not into Starbucks. It just wasn't my thing. My mom is the one. So, you guys, yes, I know my mom is going to be in the comments. Y'all, it's my mom's fault, y'all, because I wasn't even drinking Starbucks. I was, drink I was doing Dunkin' Donuts. All the time before work, I would go to Dunkin'. It would be just Dunkin' Donuts. So, you know what? We're gonna give this. We're gonna give this to my mom. Mom, this is all you. This is why. But she she used to always say, why don't you, why don't you drink some Starbucks? Drink some Starbucks. And now she don't even drink. My mom don't even really go to Starbucks anymore. Now she go to uh, Dunkin'. Or actually now she makes her own coffee like at home, which is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start doing it really soon because all this stuff is easy to make. Like the lady was telling me, you know this is just matcha powder, right? I'm like, yes. All this stuff y'all make, you could get from a store. Like all, all this stuff is easy to make. But yeah, as I was saying, she was like, um, she was like, yeah, you don't have any kids, do you? I was like, no. She was like, oh girl, you could just you come to Starbucks. That you know that don't mean nothing then. Even when I do, even. Listen, I just feel like I can't speak for everybody else. I think everything in my life is being, is flowing the way it's supposed to. I don't have kids for a reason. There's this, there's a reason why I don't have, I, I, my, I, my life was set up where I didn't have kids right now or at a young age. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not in the cards for me to have kids right now. And I don't want no kids unless I'm married. So, yeah. So, everything is just going to flow the way it's going to flow. And I'm still going to get Starbucks. Like, all the moms be at Starbucks, literally. And sometimes they husbands be with them. Like, pushing, yes. All the moms be at Starbucks, okay? That's where all the moms come. And I love to see it. But, yeah. So I'm about to actually cut up some more potatoes because y'all yesterday I was being so big. I was being so fat. I ate three hamburgers. Three hamburgers. That's let's not even. And then I did cut up some cucumbers. I'm gonna just pull out the burgers, and you guys, this is, these are the burgers. These are the burgers I be eating. Highly recommend Morning Star Farms. Highly recommend Morning Star Farms. Like, please get you some Morning Star Farms. Their stuff is so good. Like, what else have I? I mean, a lot of stuff. Like, I eat their corn dogs, their breakfast um, corn dogs. All of this, and this is all plant based. Um, but um, these are veggie burgers and they taste so good, literally. Um, that's why I don't really feel bad for eating three of these because, but then you gotta think about the bread, right? I eat the thick bread too. <laughs> but um, these are the spicy black bean um, burgers, 120 calories, nine grams of protein, 70% less fat, and 
they are spicy and it tastes really good and it comes in a pack of eight sometimes you can get a pack of four but highly recommend to eat these they they they'll last you and how i like to eat is i like to make stuff that i can you know you know what i'm y'all know what i mean that i could space that i could space out you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah i'm not gonna make any any i'm not gonna make any um fries because i have enough so yeah um i don't know i don't even know if i'm gonna eat for lunch if i do eat something for lunch maybe i will um maybe i'll just eat some noodles some ramen noodles I was gonna cut up some more cucumbers, but I already I cut up some cucumbers yesterday for my like to put on put on my hamburger for like pickles. So yeah, I don't want to make I only have one cucumber left, so I don't want to make those. I don't want to cut those up and make those because I'm gonna make those with when I make chicken. So yeah, but okay, you guys, I'm about to start work. It is it is 9:46, so. Yep, today's Friday. Yay, yay. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna be doing much at all this weekend because I want to get this vlog out, and it just feels so good to be back on. Like I said, be back on the camera. Um, I'm gonna be editing all weekend. Um, I'm gonna get up super early on Saturday and edit. Um, start editing this video because this is gonna be a long video. I would say the key to having a nice long vlog is to vlog every day. I don't know how frequently people vlog, but I know since I only post videos for on Sundays, um, I vlog literally every day, no matter what I'm doing. Vlog every day. And then wrap up on that final day. Make sure you up early or whatever. I don't know. I post my, maybe I should change my time that I post my video five instead of seven i don't know we'll see but it's gonna be out on sunday and i can't wait for you guys to see but okay i'm about to start work so i hope everyone has a wonderful friday and i will get back on the camera later okay you guys hello 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 so it's later on in the day it's i already told y'all it's friday whatever oh i was just so over it i was ready to get off work you guys like People just complain so much. Oh my God, I be so tired of hearing people complain. Like, and usually where I work, I usually just deal with like doctors' offices and providers and stuff like that. But lately, honey, and people just, it been the members calling in complaining. Like, I don't want to hear your grown ass complain. You is too grown. Like, stop complaining. And it'd be the same thing that they complain about. I'm trying to get through your IVR system and I can't get through. And um, I'm saying my ID number, but it's not letting me. I'm just letting you guys know that your system sucks. Okay, well, welcome welcome to the new age where technology is just a thing now. Like, we all got to get used to it. When I'm calling in places, I don't want to wait on hold neither. I don't want to talk to com to the computer neither. Okay? Like, I don't want to hear you complain. Like, I have no tolerance for people trying to ruin my day. I will transfer you to somebody else. I will gladly get you over to somebody else. Do not make my day hard. If you make my day hard, I'm going to gladly make it easy for you and get you over to someone else. Uh -huh. Okay? I just don't be having time for it, okay? I be having, I be having a good day. Oh, majority of the time i'm ha i'm having a great day when from when i wake up to when i go to sleep honey i don't care what i'm going through i try to make the best out of it and you know what if i am going through something i'm gonna just cry about it you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna cry about it and get through it and talk to whoever i need to talk to vent or you know do what i need to do but i don't want to hear y'all grown ass complain okay but yeah i'm about to go in tasty tales um one of the places that i went to when i first came to texas um and i'm about to go to the bar and drink um not the way it sounds but i'm about to have a drink so <laughs> okay i brought my little jacket just in case it's a little cold in there but it's 80 degrees right now and i got on my 
my bralette but yeah hopefully it's not super packed because goodness hopefully i just want to see it at the bar that's it that's it <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am back. I'm a little tipsy, but I am back in the house. Safe and sound. Um, okay. You would think, since people have kids, you would hear kids more than you hear dogs. But I literally hear dogs more than I hear kids. And honestly, I don't want to hear no dog. I'd rather hear the child. Okay? These dogs be acting like they getting attacked. Okay? It be early. In the, it be 5 in the morning. And it's not like a dog is getting attacked. Like brutally tortured. And it be the little dogs. Now, I had some little dogs. Like back back then, you know, we didn't have my family and I. We didn't have some dogs, <clears throat> and I know how how savage they can act. But when I tell you, people around here got so many damn dogs. It's to the point where people ask me, "Do I got a dog?" No, I don't. I don't want a dog. Okay. The only drama queen that's in this house is me. I don't have time for that right now. Okay? Anyway, so those drinks are so good. I went to Tasty Tales and just had me drink at the bar. Um, it literally be packed in there like all the time. It never fails. Their food is so good. Drinks are so good. If you're ever in the Dallas area, definitely go to Tasty Tales because they're so good. Literally, it's always packed in there. But, um, and every time I go there, I'm always meeting people. Like, we be having a good time. Because I usually always go there by myself. So, um, yeah. I met some people and we just got to talking about, like, I'm not going to even say what we was talking about. We was talking about a lot, a lot of stuff. But, yeah, I had a great time. But, yeah, just needed to definitely get out of the house because I'm telling you, these people at work be driving me crazy. And I'm just over it. I'm over people. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take these lashes off, wash my face. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be knocked out because these drinks, I done had two drinks. They was like, girl, you're knocking them drinks down? I'm like, yes. I, I know how to drink. Like, for real, for real, but, like, I love me a little cocktail because you could taste the liquor and it'd be strong, but, like, you could slow sip. I'd rather do that over shots any day, but I definitely just got to show you guys, like, just because, like, I go work out, like, four times a week and, you know, I do my vitamins and all that good stuff. I do my detoxes and stuff. I'll still go out and make sure, you know, I have a good time and I love to have me a drink and... I done ran out of wine, so I gotta go get me some wine. But yeah, it's all about balance, okay? Like I said, do what you do, don't do what everybody else do. Do what makes you happy, do it. Do what you do. We live in a world where everybody following after each other, and <sighs> I don't know what this world's going to, but just be you, do you, and have a great time. But um, yeah. Definitely about to wash this makeup off and get a good sleep. Because I know I'm about to be knocked out. And I'm going to be up early so I can edit this video so I can get it out for you guys. I'm so excited for you guys to see this video. But yeah. Yeah, see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, so I am wrapping up this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it is Sunday, of course. This is the last bit of it that I need to um, edit. Um, this is a really long vlog, and like I said, I don't play about my vlogs, and I owe it to my babes because I have not vlogged in two months, and yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm about to edit this last bit. I have a little more to edit before I get this out. I got three three hours before I have to um, 
upload this hopefully youtube doesn't play games because these hour almost two hour long vlogs like they do take time and you gotta make sure you have the right music so you don't get copyrighted and all that but either way this vlog is coming out so if you made it this far i really really enjoyed you coming back to watching my video to even like watching any of my videos um i really appreciate the supporters that i do have you know what i'm saying i'm really just flowing with everything you know i have no expectations i just want to live my life the way i want to live my life do things the way i want to do it and just do what feels good to me feels right to me and what aligns with my frequency and all that good stuff so if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel make sure you're hitting your post notification bells so that you guys don't miss the video like i said i am back and we are back just to you know doing what we do best but um yeah make sure you subscribe like comment hit those post notification bells and i will see you guys in my next one